What's up guys, Nerd Noob here, and welcome to week two of my 2019 house vlogs. Oh, they're not house vlogs anymore. This one's kind of a house vlog though, but they're technically just vlogs because I'm not always like doing stuff in my house, so sorry. Uh, I wanted to check in with you guys because this week has been a little bit chaotic. It's actually almost the end of the week and I wanted to check in with you guys before I started to really like get full, full chaos mode, but this is my house, this is the downstairs. I've cleared out this corner because I have officially gone to Costco and gotten myself a sofa. So I don't know if I ever told you guys what my original plan was for the sofa. I was, they have this modular sectional sofa. I don't know if any of you guys have gone to Costco recently and saw this thing. It's, it's a great color sofa. And when I saw it, I tested it out in the store. I loved it. I was, they had, they had it online. It was a little bit more expensive, but it came with shipping. And I was like, I'm going to buy that. Then I really thought about it because you guys know I have three floors in the house and I was originally gonna put a sofa downstairs, one in the den, and one all the way upstairs. But then I really thought, I was like, what if I just got two sets of the modular sofa, kept one set down here, and then split the second one between the two floors. Then if I ever had a lot of friends over, I can bring the pieces back downstairs, connect them together, and make a giant party sofa. So I had this life plan ready to go. And every day I would check the Costco website. I don't know why I didn't just buy it, but I would check it and I'm like, okay, I don't know. And literally a couple days ago I checked it and it was gone. They took it off the website and I found out that a lot of furniture at Costco is seasonal and only lasts for a few months and then it goes away. And even in the stores, apparently the furniture is gonna go away in a couple days, I think at the end of this week. So I freaked out, started calling all the Costco's, found out that one that's close by had, they called, or I called them, they said they had three ran over there by the time i got there somebody had purchased one so they only had two and one of them was the floor model i'm like i don't want the floor model so then i'm sitting there and it was almost 8 30 which is when they closed it was like 8 20. like what do i do so i could have gone to a store that was way far away but then i also had the issue with the delivery but they have some delivery service that they work with anyways it was this whole thing and i ended up changing my mind instead of getting two modular sofas i changed my mind this is kind of an adult purchase I ended up getting a regular sectional that's not modular which is right here it's this one it's kind of like a beigey color I went with um, for both of my sofas they're all fabric so I bought this one for downstairs and then I got the one modular set that they had uh, that's going to be split between my den and my upstairs so that's really cool. I'm pretty stoked about that. They just delivered it, but now I, um, luckily Chris and Soren are coming over and they're gonna help me move this into the house. I also, since I had to pay for some of the delivery, I was like, well, I might as well just get, uh, you know, a dining room table. So I also bought this dining room table, which is gonna be interesting. It, this was, this one was definitely an impulse buy, but you guys know, obviously I'm in, I've been in the house for eight months now, almost, almost eight months now, and it takes me a long time to do things, obviously. So since this was there, I was like, let's just get it because if I don't get it now, I will never get a dining room table. I will. Hi. Hello, I'm vlogging. Hey. See, this is perfect timing. Look who's here. Hi. Hey. Yes. Hey. Chris and so on, Chris and so on. Hey. So what I was telling the vlog just now is that I don't know if this table was like the best fit for like what it is because it's a square table that can turn into a circular table, which this area is not necessarily like Great for that, but I don't know. I think it'll work out, and it came with six chairs and. Be nice. You think it'll fit okay with the shape of the house? I think so. Gosh. It's funny because Chris. I was like, oh, I kind of wish it was circular. Oh, did you say that? Yeah. I want to get a lazy Susan just to make it a little bit <gasps> yes. Asian. Oh, yeah, the yeah. lazy Susan a on her. Chris just called me out of my boots. Okay, Chris, here's what happened. Let me tell you the story. Okay. Have you seen me well, wear my other boots? Oh yeah, those are my Timberlands. Oh no, but I like your new house slippers. Thanks. They look comfy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so these are the fancy boots that I got from Macy's. Okay. On Thursday when it was pouring rain, yeah. Ooh. My sight flooded, Ooh. and the bottom See, of my shoe off. fell off, Ooh. and I was really sad because I really like these boots a lot. Yeah. So to fix that, I went on Amazon. Five pairs. Four. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And you know what's really sad? I think this one's my favorite pair. Yeah. I but they're it. gray. I should have gotten the black version. Yeah, the gray's cute. Mm, the black would have been nice. But aren't these the same thing but black? No, those look different. These were cute. These are like all the same. I know. Really, in reality. Yes, like literally reality. all of... I think these ones are the closest to the my old pair. I love like I would have done the same thing. I would have wanted to, but I wouldn't have. Oh. Soren would have talked me out of it. Great. You actually my. do everything I want to do inside. 
like buy four different pairs of the same thing. Yes, I've done that. I, if you look at my lipstick collection, I have a hundred percent done that. Like, but at least these are different versions. I have purchased when I could first buy something from East Bay that you know the shoe catalog, yeah, East Bay. Uh, I bought the same shoe but different colors. Yeah. And everyone was like, that's the same shoe. And I'm like, but yeah. it's a different color. They fit nice. Mm -hmm. You know they're gonna look good mm -hmm. and fit well. Mm -hmm. It's different colors. Mm -hmm. This is why I like buying from Amazon because if I find one that I like the most, I can go back on my account and figure out which one it was and then purchase another Ooh, like one. Oh, look at the cast iron pot. Oh, look at Max's little cave. This he is doesn't cute. sleep in it. But it's so cute. Why is it so dirty inside? That's catnip. Oh. It's, get him to go in there. Well, it's yeah. happy in there. Have you felt in there? It's hella lumpy. This one I want to go in there. <laughs> it's lumpy. It's you like put not. Some, you put some memory like, foam in there like, for your cat. Oh yeah, it's like not padded. <laughs> That's probably why he doesn't go in yeah, there. Yeah, it's like it's lumpy I've in never, there. Excuse it's me. not lumpy. It's the bottom of this thing. I'd rather sleep on the carpet. It's the bottom of this. He does sleep on the carpet. That's what I mean. It's softer. Like this is weird. I wouldn't want to sleep in there if I was a cat. Well, maybe that's that's exactly why Mac has stayed away. Yeah. And yes, I need to um, I need to what is it called? Oh, oil uh, it, season it, season it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oil it, season it, whatever. Same thing. This is it's like the same thing. It's the same. All right. Well, we're gonna Stay try to move some of the furniture, so we're gonna close this. Guys, guys, guys. Um, first off, really big shout out to Chris and Soren. They legitimately like. We were talking and they both had the day off and they were like, oh, we're going to come over and help you. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. And they don't live close. So that was amazing. Look at this, you guys. I'm sitting in my new sofa. Yes. I wish I would have showed you me shopping at Costco. Look at Mac though. Mac is like, is like roaming. He already jumped up on the dining room table. He went on the second thing. So here's my dining room table. This thing is massive. It's like massive. It's a square that turns into a circle. It came with six chairs. It's the same height as my island. So it's like counter height. So it's just like huge. But look at this. So I got, this is, I wanted to do the two modular. It didn't work out. But I think this one actually fits really nicely in here. Um, I think it goes well with the dark floors. I think if I would have gotten the dark gray, it would have been a little bit much. But it's super comfy. It's a little bit on the firmer end because I think it has springs in it. But I am okay with that. I think my dad's going to really like that because he likes hard sofas. I am kind of contemplating, like, it's a hot mess over there right now because we just shoved everything that was against the wall over there. But I think I'm contemplating, and I don't have to deal with this now, but technically where the dining room table is, like, that's where it's supposed to be. And, oh, look. He can now look out the window. Oh, my gosh. He's so excited. He's so freaking excited. It's just another window he gets to look at, which is really cool. Look at him. He's so interested in it. You like that, buddy? Huh? You like it? You can sit right there if you want. Oh my God, so amazing. So, anyways, I was thinking that technically the dining room table is supposed to go where it is, right? So that's where the dining room table is supposed to be. And I'm thinking that it might be better, though, to potentially, um, and let me show this to you. Please don't mind my messy house, because now, look, all my Tariva prices, they had to drop them off separately. Like, they, I went to go pick them up, and I was like, I'm going to have to take a couple trips, because this is not all going to fit my car. And then they're like, uh, the supervisor is going to drop them off for you. So then I came back home, and then they dropped all these boxes off. But... So here's the living room. And what I'm thinking is, instead of having the sofa this way and the TV there, because you guys know I had an issue with like, I want to see the TV when I'm in the kitchen. Potentially moving the TV to that wall, turning the sofa so it goes against this wall and then jolts out this way. And then instead of having the table right here, because it is a little bit crowded, you have the front door, the sliding door, and then the, the island is put the table kind of in this whole area. So where this stuff is, have the dining room table there. I'm not quite sure if it would work that way, but I feel like, I feel like that would work. And I feel like then I would get the best of both worlds. Like I'd be able to see the TV in the kitchen. I know that doesn't really matter. I really shouldn't, like, I schedule my life around like, can I see the TV from the kitchen? And I know that like, I shouldn't do that, but naturally that's what I do. Look at him. You're fine. Oh, I scared him. Do you like it? Oh gosh. I probably should tell him not to do that. Maybe it'll make him happier that I actually have furniture and he actually has places that he can like hide. Can I pet you or are you going to freak out? Okay. 
Can I put you now? See, we're good. We're good. We're good. And like, yeah, look at this table. It has like this cool little like thing. You can already see Max fur there. I don't know what I'm gonna put there, but I could put like stuff like coasters or board games or something. Anyways, I'm really excited because this is like the first time that I felt like, wow, like I wanna hang out down here, this is a home. And I know I should have done it sooner, but I think I'm glad that I waited. And although I did buy this specific couch, it was like spur of the moment. Like I had no, not one interest at all prior to going to Costco yesterday of getting this sofa. But once I sat it in the store, I actually really like it a lot. I'm such a fan. Get a throw blanket, turn the heater on, fix the TV, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So, oh, Mac just scared himself and then ran away. I don't even know what he, what just happened. Um, anyways, well, I just wanted to show you guys because I'm really excited, but I'm gonna relax a little bit. Um, I've been getting headaches lately, so I'm trying to like drink lots of water and just like not have headaches. I don't know, I'm sure that's not how headaches go away, but yeah, all right, well. I'll see you guys soon. What's up guys, it's Saturday. Um, I'm actually really excited because Jess is throwing a joint birthday party for her kids today at Chuck E. Cheese and I love Chuck E. Cheese. So I just got here and we're gonna jump in and I'll probably film a little bit of me playing some games because you know I love those arcade games. Let's go. This Chuck E. Cheese has so many coin pushers, I'm so excited. Take a picture with them after the show. And we uh. Okay, we ate a lot of delicious pizza because Chuck E. Cheese pizza is delicious and now Chuck E. here and they're dancing. <laughs> It's a Sunday night, so it's time to end the vlog. I just made myself dinner. I had a HelloFresh meal. I didn't film any of it. I've already put all of the leftovers away, and uh, yeah, it was delicious. It was really good. Okay, guys, I wanted to share this to you because I know you guys have been along with me now with my furniture adventure, but I just finished moving all my furniture around. My house is a hot mess. I cleaned my kitchen today, but my house is a hot mess right now, but let me show this to you. First of all, I need to unbox all these Tariba boxes because they are taking up a lot of space. Mac is still getting used to the furniture and their setup, but here's the new setup. So in before, <laughs> I had the dining room table right here because this is technically where the dining room table is supposed to go. You have the kitchen, you have the dining room table. Um, and in theory, the TV is supposed to go up there and then I had the couch in this corner. I moved everything around. I don't know if I like it yet. Okay, so far I kind of like it, but I'm not sure. So I moved the sofa here. Um, you kind of enter and then I put the TV there. And the reason I put the TV there is because I've really wanted to be able to see the TV from the kitchen. It's really annoying that I can't. And if the TV is supposed to go there, I definitely wouldn't be able to see it. And then I moved the dining room table here. Now this is a really tight fit for this dining room table. I did pull out all the leaflets to make it a giant circle and everything fit pretty well. Obviously when it's a circle, there would be chairs right here. Um, but you know, I don't plan to have the table set up in a circle very often. And I also don't plan to have like that many people here. Like I sat at this table right here, this seat right here and ate my dinner and watched TV. So. I think this is gonna work out pretty okay. It is a little bit dark here because I only have these two lights. They're not necessarily directly um, above the table, so it does get a little bit dark in that area, but nothing like crazy. And I did pull the sofa back further just so that if you're sitting in that TV or that seat, you can still see the TV. And my goal is to hopefully get an ottoman and then an end table right here. If this sofa had been in the corner, I would have been able to get two end tables, like if you have drinks. So that's the reason why, that's the reason why I was originally getting an ottoman. So I'm not quite sure about that because if you're sitting in this seat and you have a drink, then you have to put it on the table like how I do now. Or I can get one of those ottomans and get one of those like trays to put on top. I really just want something to put my feet on. Like honestly, that's basically it. So that is where I'm ending my furniture uh, adventures for this current week and we'll see how it goes now I just need to move 
all of this stuff. I need to organize. My video cut off. I don't know when, when it cut off, but I need to move all this crap. Um, it's a lot of boxes that I've already opened when I was filming down here. I tend to open boxes and then pile them up. That's one of the reasons why I stopped filming down here because the ultimate goal is for all the boxes to get upstairs, which is where I'm going to have all my sorting done. So I need to carry all these boxes upstairs. And yeah, I don't know. It's, um... It's coming along. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I need to get a TV stand for my bedroom. Once I get a TV stand, I'll be able to move my bed into my bedroom. I'm gonna keep my air bed for a little bit longer until I really figure out what I wanna do because I usually have a queen size bed, but I'm kind of contemplating getting a California king, or not a California, just a regular king because it's bigger just because, because I can, I guess, because it's not that much more expensive and the room is big enough. And then once I do that, I can move all the modular, the one modular sofa that I have into the house and move half of it to the den and half of it upstairs to my filming space. So. I apologize because I haven't really been getting a lot of videos out to you guys and it's because I've been doing all of this stuff. But I think it's been really good for me and I'm really excited because it just makes me happy. Um, so yeah. Also, I haven't done it yet. By the time you've seen this, I probably would have done it. I actually created a new channel in connection with my main channel. So I have my Nerdy Noob channel and you guys know, I mean, I've been on that for um, almost four years now. Oh my gosh. In May, it'll be four years. And I've always just put every video that I have on that channel. And what I've realized recently from reading a lot of your comments is I have a lot of people that are like split. Like I have people who like my unboxings and then I have people who like my vlogs. And there are people who like both, but it's interesting the different splits. So I think what I'm gonna do is I created a channel called Life with Nerdy Noob and that's where I'm gonna put all of my vlogs. So all of my vlogs will just live in one place instead of being like sporadically mixed within my unboxing videos. I am i don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. It might drive people away from my main channel. At this point, I don't really care. Like I'm just putting videos out that I like and that I want to put out. Um, as you guys know, my channel is growing super slow. I was looking at my numbers at one point. Not that it matters, but like just with even like I think 2016 was my best year which was my second year and it was like crazy and now it's just pretty like slowed down but I still enjoy doing what I'm doing that's why I'm still doing it and you know we'll see what happens I might slow it down a little bit I have been in this like kind of life funk where I really just want to be able to like enjoy life so I don't want to wake up every morning and be super stressed out about work or super stressed out about making videos. Like I just want to like live my life, you know? So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But hopefully I've already made an announcement about my, my new channel, hopefully. And uh, hopefully I can post a few of my vlogs, th maybe this vlog and maybe last week's vlog on there just to have some videos already ready to go before I make the announcement. I don't know. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna finish watching this episode of Gold Rush and then and then I'll go do some things. I really like Gold Rush. I realized that I didn't watch the latest season, which was actually um, shown last year. It's because it started right after I got into my car accident. So I just, after I got into my car accident, everything kind of just stopped and I didn't watch anything. So I'm, I'm catching up on all of the episodes of Gold Rush and hopefully they have a new season coming out soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I love Gold Rush. I have been watching, I watched all of, um, oh, I'm sorry, this is Barry and Seagull. I already watched, I already caught up with Gold Rush um, last weekend and a couple days ago I finished the last episode and now I'm watching Barry and Seagull. Sorry. Okay, let's do it. Look at Mike. He's adventuring on the table. Mac, you like it over there? Oh, he didn't even answer me. How rude. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he smells my dinner? He's such a cute boy, huh? God, I love Mac. Oh, he's going to get scared. He's going to scare himself in a second. Oh, he's going to use my laptop as a scratching thing. You know, one of the things I do need to do is probably put a cat tree, I, like, in that corner, potentially. I want to put a cat tree somewhere here for him. So that when I'm down here, he can hang out. He usually just hangs out with me, but um, so he has his own space. So I think I might put a cat tree over there for him. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for joining me. I actually don't know. I realized because I just posted this yesterday uh, that I had vlogged in January. I didn't really realize. So I thought last week's vlog was the first week. 
technically I guess this is the second week. I don't really know. I can't really keep up with it. So we're going to say this is week two of my 2019 vlogs. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you guys are really, it's so funny. After I change these vlogs to not being house vlogs, I feel like all I'm doing is, sh is doing house stuff. But that's how the world works, right? This is just how it works. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. I can't wait to just continue building um, everything in my house. Not building it, but you know, like getting things for my house and really like making it my own is what I'm really focused on because it's been eight months basically and you know, there's just a lot of things that I didn't do because I've been busy and I've, I haven't made it a point to do things. So now I'm making it a point to like get things done and put things in the house and actually like have a house that just feels livable and feels like great. And this couch, can I just tell you guys, like coolest thing ever. I love just being able to just chill on the couch and I am loving this, so yes. All right, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you guys next week for another episode of my vlog. Have a good day, night, whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys next time. Bye, Mac, you wanna say bye? Mac, you wanna say bye? You wanna say bye? Oh. Ooh, okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye!